a lot of folks spending more time at home, you may have finally gotten around to cleaning out that closet, the attic, the garage, and perhaps you found something with a little more than just sentimental value. Brandon Steiner, founder of CollectibleExchange.com, joins us to talk about the uptick in the buying and selling of sports memorabilia. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, here in New York, and uh, everything's kind of bunkered down. And I think everybody went home and has been home for a few months. And after a couple of days, you're, at least my wife did, said, Brandon, you need to clean out the garage, closet, <laughs> basement, sports room. So we went, you know, we, we didn't really think the site, you know, we just launched this six months ago, collectible exchange is like a form of eBay. And all of a sudden, I guess everybody had the same idea. And uh, it's been booming, you know, just there's a lot of people that are interested in buying old vintage stuff, and unique stuff. I think, you know, the collectible thing's a little unique. It's a little different because people want verification, they want authentication. They've had stuff given, left to them. They don't know what it's worth. How do you recognize if something that you find actually has any value? Well, on our site, we actually broadcast in a much bigger way the actual authentication, so you know your authentication. And if you're comfortable with it, you can then buy it from the seller. But if you're not comfortable with it, you can actually require it to have another level of authentication, which gets sent to a hub, and we have an independent authenticator look it over. Also, a lot of people are not sure what they're buying and what it's worth, or if they're trying to sell something, not sure of the value. There's a click-through on Collectible Exchange where you can click through and say, I've got this. And by the way, I like to know what it's worth. And I do a, I do a show online called Man Cave Millionaires 2, which we broadcast all people's items and tell the story. You can get that on YouTube as well. What questions should somebody ask if they are thinking about buying or selling something? Well, you got, you got to... You, you got to remember when you're thinking of selling something, there's a bunch of ways you can put it into an auction that we have online. You can actually put it up on the site with a make an offer. Um, also, there's a lot of people sitting with their collectibles under their bed in their closet. So a lot of times people just ask me, what can I do with this? I want to have enjoyment out of it. And we'll show them how to frame it or put a case in or build something around this. So you can actually enjoy this collectible. Just remember, sometimes it's a trophy, it's a plaque. It's a couple balls that are left, so you kind of have to collaborate it together to enjoy the piece. I don't always suggest to people that they should sell their items, but they should enjoy their items. And uh, that's something we help here. We frame people's items as well as have an assortment of cases as well. Collectible Exchange is, is a site that really exists for the collector and the fan. The other cool thing is you can go on our site in the next couple months and buy collectibles from your favorite athlete. Is there anything that's really sought after right now that everybody's in the market for and I need this? I think that, you know, it's surprising. I mean, you always never know what's going to happen with young people as far as whether they're going to leave this business or move on to something else. But even the young ones love the vintage stuff. They love the stuff from the 60s and 70s. I may have to see if my uh, first edition of Sports Illustrated will pay for my kids' college. So how can people uh, get a hold of you? What's the website? <laughs> well, it's collectibleexchange.com uh, or cxstuff.com. I'm a LinkedIn guy, so just follow me on LinkedIn if you want to message me a personal question about something you have. I try to answer them all. And by the way, if you go to my website, Collectible Exchange, I've written three books, and any one of the three are free through the end of July. Fantastic. Brandon, nice chatting with you. Great information. Excellent. Thank you and have a great day. Have a safe day. You too.